guess what, the friends? In this video, I'm gonna share the 10 exact portion control snacks that I ate from Walmart that helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. Number one. One cheese string, one turkey pepperoni, and half a cup of cucumber slices. The cheese strings that I'm showing are the great value marble ones, but really, I just chose the ones that were on sale and whatever flavor I was craving. So sometimes it was cheddar, sometimes marble, sometimes mozzarella, and the same for the turkey pepperoni. Usually Walmart had the Pillars turkey bites available, so those were the ones that I chose. It was really about choosing my battles, not getting stuck on a particular brand or type, but really choosing what was available that I enjoyed and eating it in portion so that I could stick to it. And that's the exact reason why I'm making this video. At the beginning of my journey, I weighed 275 pounds. My weight was causing me serious health problems like sleep apnea that was so bad, I needed a machine to help me breathe at night. And I knew if I didn't start making changes and losing weight that I'd be putting my life at serious risk. But I also struggled with severe emotional eating to the point where any sort of number tracking, calorie counting, numbers of any sort would trigger the emotional eating. So I felt so overwhelmed and I had no idea where to start, especially when it came to snacks. I finally decided to eat snacks that I enjoyed, but portion them out using the serving sizes on the backs of packages as a guide. And that way I could use portion control to get in a calorie deficit and lose the weight instead of calorie counting. And it worked. Not only did I lose the 50 pounds in three months, but it helped me to go on and lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. Number two, Nature Valley protein granola bar and a medium apple. The ones that I'm showing here are the peanut butter dark chocolate granola bars. Now I love granola bars and I really didn't want to give them up. So I chose ones that I would enjoy, but also that had more protein. That way I would look forward to the granola bar, but it would help keep me fuller longer because it had more protein. And these ones have 11 grams of protein in them. So it was great. And the apples that I'm showing are gala apples. And I usually chose like medium size apples. And again, it's whatever apple was the cheapest that I enjoyed. So sometimes it was the granny Smith, sometimes the red ones, whatever was available that I would look forward to eating that week was what I chose. And the friends, if you want to know more portions and exact meals that I ate to lose the weight, I do have weight loss eBooks. The links are down below. I also have a guilt-free cookbook. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. I also got Poodled! HTLT sucks and they just came out with these new Seco Bar Plus flavors. We've got Dirty Cookies and Cream and Caramel Toffee Crunch. They got 20 grams of protein and they made them tastier and softer and they really are. They're amazing. We just had one and they're like so good. It's like eating a chocolate bar but with way more protein. So you satisfy your sweet tooth and you stay fuller longer. Link down below, use code Nicole to save yourself 10% on that too. Number three, a serving of crackers, a light baby bell, and a third cup of almonds. So the crackers that I'm showing here are wheat thins, and I'm not showing this, but a half a cup is a serving on the back. And so what I did with crackers was, I would choose whatever cracker would allow me the biggest portion because I like to eat and I have a big appetite. So half a cup of crackers was a good serving for me. So I usually chose like the wheat thins. And then the baby bell, again, I would choose the lighter version when I could. Almonds. I'm showing roasted salted almonds here. And because at the beginning, I wasn't ready for unsalted. So I picked my battles and I chose the roasted salted ones because I knew I could at least stick to that, measuring out the salted ones. Now, sometimes I choose unsalted, sometimes I choose salted. It just depends. It was like, I often get asked about the sodium and I tried not to focus on that because it would just throw me off. Yeah, when available, I would try to choose like a lower salted one, but if I wasn't ready for it, I wouldn't force myself to do it. I would just, again, pick my battles. Number four, a tablespoon of celery. A tablespoon of celery. 
Yeah. A tablespoon of peanut butter and two stalks of celery. This was one of my favorite snacks because I love peanut butter and celery. And I just chose whatever peanut butter again was on sale or that I enjoyed. Usually the Kraft Smooth peanut butter and then two stalks of celery. Number five, a serving of mixed nuts, which is a third cup it shows on the container. So a third cup of those. And again, I chose the salted ones because I wasn't ready for the unsalted yet. A quarter cup of dried cranberries and half a cup of baby carrots. So this actually works out perfect because the one, the cranberries that I'm showing are the sweetened dried cranberries. I prefer to choose the reduced sugar ones, but all they had available at the store to show in the clip was the sweetened. And when that would happen, when something I was looking for wasn't available, I would choose the next best thing because it was important that I enjoyed my food and I really love dried cranberries. So if those were available, I'd choose the sweetened because it allowed me to stick to what I was doing. Getting the weight off to save my life was the most important thing. So more important than sugar or no sugar. Number six, one cup of veggie sticks and two tablespoons of light veggie dip. I usually liked the light ranch veggie dip and any one that was available I would choose. It was usually pretty tasty. And two tablespoons is a really good serving. And then what I'm showing here is like a vegetable medley. It's called Man's Vegetable Medley, the family favorites. I love it's already pre-chopped broccoli and cauliflower and it has baby carrots in there. And I would just add in some cucumber slices and celery. I'd get a wide range of veggies and it would really satisfy me and keep me full. And number seven, two plain rice cakes, a tablespoon of peanut butter and a small banana. I love like peanut buttering up those rice cakes. So you can put the bananas on there if you want. Sometimes I need it separate, but one again, another one of my favorite snacks. Number eight, half a cup of plain 0% Greek yogurt and half a cup of fresh fruit. I'm showing strawberries here, but again, whatever was the cheapest on sale that I look forward to eating, that's the fruit I would choose. I always chose the plain fat-free Greek yogurt because the fruit flavored ones usually contained extra like carbs and sugar. And I would just flavor the yogurt myself with like vanilla extract. And I would add like low calorie sweetener like this one from Walmart. This is just like the great value, no calorie sweetener. And then sometimes I would put like some cocoa powder. This is like Hershey's baking cocoa, so it's unsweetened. And that really like flavors my yogurt really well. And I don't even miss like the fruit flavored. Number nine, half a cup of cottage cheese, a tablespoon of peanut butter, and then a teaspoon of the cocoa powder and sweetener that I just showed you. This snack, Sassy, my husband, who's holding the camera, has lost the same amount of weight as me and kept it off for the same amount of time. We've literally been eating this snack the entire time. Like we still eat it every night before bed because, um, and I'm showing the 1% cottage cheese in the B-roll, but whatever's available, sometimes we have 2%. It's again, whatever is available because we portion it out, it doesn't really matter. We love that cottage cheese is a slow digesting protein. And when we mix it with the peanut butter, it really makes it, makes us feel fuller longer and it keeps us full all night because we eat it before we go to bed. And number 10, an English muffin, a tablespoon of light cream cheese, and half a cup of cucumber slices. Now I'm showing you the plain English muffins, but I usually would choose the whole wheat because they contain more fiber, so they kind of make me feel fuller longer. However, they were out of whole wheat. So again, pick your battles. I liked English muffins because they were a low calorie replacement for a bagel for me. So. If they only had plain, I went with plain because again, it was something I look forward to and I could stick to what I was doing that way. And then I have two bonuses for you guys because I get this question a lot too, like what if you eat all your portions and you're still hungry? So on the days where I wanted an extra treat or I was still kind of hungry, I had two go-tos that I would choose from that were low calorie so I could still you know, satisfy my appetite and my cravings but stay in a calorie deficit. One, the Jello cups because they're only five calories a cup and they come in strawberry and lemon lime. So I would have one of each and then I would top it with three tablespoons of the 95% fat-free Cool Whip and it was a really great snack tasty treat, help keep me full and satisfy like everything. And then 
I would pop um, one of the mini bags of the 94% fat-free Smart Pop. A whole bag popped is 90 calories. So it's great, just throw it in the microwave, it's done, you can eat the whole bag, 90 calories. Allowed me again, satisfy my hunger and my cravings, but still stay in a calorie deficit so I could lose the weight. And so the friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it inspires you to find things that you love and not make your journey painful. Pick your battles and do something that you like because a good diet is one that you can stick to. It's not about punishment. It's about making it enjoyable. And if it doesn't feel good, if you don't look forward to it, look at it and find things that you do enjoy. And so, hope you enjoyed this. I love you so much. You can do this. You're not alone. Sassy and I did it. You can do it. We believe in you. Don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already, cutie, okay? And don't forget to watch this bit and this bit to see how Sass and I love our food and just do this and keep the weight off and just love life and just <laughs> and just be cute. And um, I love ya. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Cute roomy. You did good. You held in the crazy for 10 minutes there. <laughs> and then it just all comes loose. I can't do it for long. It's just building up. <laughs> See you guys. Look at my socks. Whoa. Eggs and bacon and toast. I love this outfit. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.